Hi everyone and welcome back to Fans Art. So today I'm going to try and do another swipe with um, house paint as my pillow paint. A few bubbles in there. This is a bigger canvas so it might work a bit better. And I put laid some paint down. I'm just gonna lay a bit more down. And let's see what happens this time. So I put some paint down, I gave it a bit of a spin, get rid of those air bubbles. Just one there, I should just want that with that. Okay. So I'm going to use the same colours as I used before <clears throat> on previous ones because they're the ones I have made up. And I want to use them all. And I have this time white and black flow troll. Um, so um, this colour is, oh, it doesn't say on the bottle, actually, oh, turquoise. So, I haven't been having much luck using house paint, but we'll see. Practice makes perfect, as they say. And this one is just like a silver colour. is a primary elements pinkish I love this color actually I'm going to put it in the middle I'll have to excuse me if I sit down during this at some point because I have a saw back so my table is a bit too low and makes my back hurt when I bend over. Okay, so I've got some paint on there. I've got my little tool. The first one I'm gonna use, I might just use some black. Squirting out all over the place and some white cell activators together. Oh, spilling it all over the place and see how that works out. Sort of like that. You hear that noise in the background? That's just my dog. And I have some cyan, which I might put just round outside like this blues and pinks again guys just love blues and pinks 
And this time I'm just going to use some white cell activator, which is just Amsterdam white with Aussie Latrol. I'm getting some nice cells there. And I'm going to use my little tiny one. With a block of gold on, just to go through this here. So I don't have that crazy white bit in the middle. Oh, sorry guys, I've got to sit down while I'm doing this. hot today in Australia I think it's about 35 degrees or something so very warm so I'm getting some nice cells here not so much along here so I'm just going to pick this up and travel it along there that this is a really pretty color I like this color I need to do something there as well. I'm going to kind of and see if I can get it on here without spilling it. I don't know. It's very tricky trying to get. thinking that the black works better than the white to be honest
Actually, I might put a bit of pink along here. Just like this pink. So I was thinking of doing was giving these as Christmas presents if they turn out well and um, putting them in frames so you can get nice square frames and sticking them in for Christmas presents. If they work out, that is. But seeing as I'm just playing, because I've never used house paint before, but lots of people seem to use it and get nice results. So I thought I would give it a go. I'm going to give it a bit of a torch, get any air bubbles out, and give it in. Thin. I don't know if I need to put more paint on there. I'm just, I'll give it a try and see what happens. That way first. Let's do, I'm going to pop some air bubbles. Where's the point in that? Looks like it should, it's a thing that shouldn't be in there. And that does too. Yep, a gluggy bit. give that white a bit of interest and maybe a pink one lost all my nice cells off there but I've got some nice ones here I've got a bit of that hasn't been covered so let's spin it the other way <clears throat> see if we can get that covered which means I'm going to lose my cells no it just doesn't want to cover that bit there so I'm just going to put a bit of paint in there like that okay guys back again I just wanted to clean up some of the edges here because there was paint everywhere and I couldn't see where the board ended and the painting on the spinner started. So I'm just popping some air bubbles. Well, I don't 
hate it. I love this colour over here. And this is kind of wispy and shiny. Can't really see it, but it's that this um, this pearl powder is making it over here very shiny. Not knowing if I should do a few more. Mm, no. I think I leave it like it is. So I'll bring I'll take my gloves off and bring you down for a closer mm -hmm. view. So this is what it looks like. Um I'll go in for a close view. I don't think you can see the shimmer. Oh you can a bit in there. The beautiful shimmer from the cells there and around here. I love those blue colors and up here that's the gold. So be really interested to see. And there's a little face there, just there. Looks like somebody asleep in a cocoon. And that pink is beautiful. I love that pink. So thanks guys for watching. I will be back later to show you the dried results and fingers crossed it dries without cracking. I'll see you then. Bye for now everyone so this is the dried result of my painting so let's go in for a closer look so I did get some nice movement and I don't know if you could call those cells I'm surprised it actually dried as well as it did. I don't know where those lumps are. I'm thinking they're air bubbles that I didn't get out. I'm not quite sure. I seem to have got them in my last few paintings. I don't know if it's because the weather's hot or oh, that's a big one there. Maybe that's a lump of something that needs to be taken out. I don't know. That looks like a little face there. Someone. So it didn't dry as glossy as I thought it would, but it didn't crack either. So I'm quite happy with how it turned out. And that's the full painting again. So thanks guys for tuning in. Till next time, take care of yourself, your family and your loved ones. Until next time, bye for now.